Question 19, it's all about straight line graphs, so you should automatically be thinking this. This is the equation for a straight line graph, y equals mx plus c. Now let's read the words. A line, so they're calling this one line 1, so line 2, is parallel. So that can look quite confusing, but it's just saying another line is parallel to this line. And it passes through 0, minus 5. Write the equation of the line. So, you need to know that parallel lines, if I use my pen, would be like this, or like this. They will never ever meet. If a line is steeper or less steep, they will meet. And the bit that controls the steepness, or what we call the gradient, is the m part. So that must be the same for it to be parallel. So let's find the gradient, and then we're going to keep it the same. So, to find the gradient, you choose two good points, so there's a good point, and I'm going to choose this one. Work out how far along, and up it goes. So, look at the scale, that's 3 to 5, so that's 2, and that is 4. Okay, so the gradient, if I put it up here, m, is always the difference in the y-axis divided by the difference in the x-axis. d for difference. So it's 2 divided by 4, which you should know is a half in its simplest form. So what we actually have, and I'm going to move down here now, is y equals a half x plus c. Now this part is particularly easy for this question, because if you try and picture 0 minus 5, it's actually on this line, 0 minus 5, which is what we call the y-intercept. And this last part is the gradient and the y-intercept. So it's half x minus 5. They can ask you much, much harder questions than that if they don't give you the y-intercept, but that one's particularly easy.